uh, we're going to uh, we're going to begin. All right, here we go. So here we are. All right. So once again, this is us. I'm SBDC at Blue Mountain Community College. Eric Delary is our director, and here we are. Once again, I'm a program coordinator. Please make sure to uh, give us a call for anything at any stage of your business development, from business ideation to any, any stage, really, 541-278-5833. That's 541-278-5833, or send us an email, sbdc at bluecc.edu. If you missed uh, all that information, I'll have it at the very end. And here we go. So what did we have an opportunity to do so far? Well, so far, we've had a chance to talk about a social media overview. That was a couple weeks ago. Last week, we talked about social media setup. Today, we're talking about websites and e-commerce platforms. And then next week, we're talking about how to grow your following. And so we have done three, or we've done two out of the four. We're going to do number three today. And uh, that's going to be great. That's going to be great. Let me erase these check marks so that we can keep going. Once again, just to remind you, um, video conferencing norms, communication, it's always a good etiquette to mute yourself. Whoops, let me take a look in the waiting room here. It's always a good etiquette to mute yourself. Oops, and admit. Um, uh, it's always, uh, and also remember that you can unmute yourself. I'm sorry, mute yourself when you're not talking. Unmute yourself when you need to talk. And um, you can push that hands up button. There's a bunch of reaction buttons. You can raise that hand. It's a whole lot of fun. We've done this. It's great. Uh, so yeah, absolutely. So a uh, couple questions to ask yourself. And uh, whoops, sorry, went a little fast here. Uh, uh, and I would like... Um, if you can go ahead and give me that answers, those answers in the chat so we can start it off. Does your business have a website? And if so, how did you set it up? And have you sold products online? And if so, how did you do this? So go ahead in the chat and begin. Uh, you can begin. Let me pull up the chat here. Already some of you are writing in answers. Very good. It's great to see this. Very good. I'm just going to wait just a little bit for you to type in your answers. It's always good to know where we're starting from. So Don says, my business is a website. I am a blogger. Great. Well, that's awesome. All right. We have a website. We're set up with Streamline to host our platform. We don't sell anything. I paid someone, uh, Christy says, Christy, hey, Christy, good to see you again. Uh, I paid someone to create an e-commerce website and now I manage it. Great. All right. Yes, we have a website. Uh, I'm sorry. My business is in the design phase and my website hasn't been created yet. You might get some ideas today. All right. Yes, we have a website. It was set up by the previous owner. We sold products online, but hope to increase online sales, right? Grow your following next time. That will be the one, really the the key, the key point here, since you already have a website and you hope to increase online sales. All right, great. Well, those are that's really, really cool. That's awesome. All right. So the plan for today is as follows. We're going to take a look. Oops. Let's make sure that uh, we're here. We're going to take a look, and we're going to uh, begin by learning about the website builder, Squarespace. And then we're going to learn about Wix. Then we're going to learn a little bit about WordPress. We will also learn about different e-commerce platforms, including Shopify, BigCommerce, and WooCommerce. All right. Now, this is important to remember for today. This is key. Oh, somebody unmuted there. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> I heard you there. Um, the strategy for today, there are many different reasons why your business might want to set up a website or e-commerce platform. And this is key. We could spend many, many hours talking about each possible option here, right? But we only have one hour to talk about all of these. And so the strategy for today is to introduce you to a variety of website building services and e-commerce platforms to give you a feel, a feel for building a site on each of them. And that's key. So it's a general introduction. 
the the best way to go about this is to uh, uh, feel comfortable investigating the options that might seem appealing to you. And that is, that's important right there. Uh, oh, we have another uh, person here. Uh, the best option is to really play around with it after this presentation, go in, try that free trial that uh, they may be offering, build, build a, a site, feel, really feel comfortable, and then see if it works for you. That's the key. That's the key. All right. So here are some reflection questions uh, before we begin. Some reflection questions. What do I want to use my website for? That's a key question for those of you who don't have a website yet. What do I want to use, or who have one but are looking to update it and keep it updated? What do I want to use my website for? Do I want to sell merchandise directly from my website? Right? That's a question. Now, is the primary purpose of my website to sell merchandise? How much control do I need over the details of my website? Here's another one that I, as a former technology teacher myself, I always ask uh, people, very important, how tech savvy am I? How much time do I have to devote myself to building the website? And how much time do I have to devote myself to main, oops, it's, oh, it, the last part of the sentence erased, sorry, to maintaining my website? And that's a key question right there. And so uh, that is all, these are all reflection questions before we begin, okay? So let's start with Squarespace. Again, a brief introduction to get you familiar with Squarespace. Okay, um, let's start with Squarespace. Okay, Squarespace is a great choice for you if you've never built a website before. It has a really neat modular uh, website builder. Uh, Squarespace is uh, especially good for blogs or portfolio style websites. And you can change your template at any time without having to rebuild your website, which is neat. Okay, and because of this, Squarespace is the least customizable of the options that we will consider today because of its ease of use. Okay. Oops. So let's take a look. So when you're on Squarespace, you'll go ahead and click on Get Started right over here. Choose a template, perhaps. Okay, it's all totally up to you. All right. Let's start with this template right over here on the left, or we can go ahead and go down, scroll down, choose some more options. Let's pick Pickle Perfection. <laughs> That's a funny sounding one right there. Once you're here, you'll go ahead and log in either with Google, Apple, or your email, standard login sign up uh, procedures, standard sign up procedures. You'll go ahead and put your name, and give the title, uh, give your site a title, which you can change at any time on Squarespace, okay? Right here. Then you can go ahead and edit pages. It'll show you how to edit pages. You can customize every section on the page, no problem, all right? Over here, I can go ahead and click on this uh, tutorial video here that they have. It's totally up to you how comfortable you would be with that or starting just testing it out. You can click on pages, design, commerce, marketing, any of these settings of these functions right over here. But we're going to edit the page. And so we're going to click on that edit button that we have here. After we're done uh, editing, we can click on done. And we can go back and click on that top right. Did you see where that button was? To see what the page looks like from a viewer's perspective. I'm going to go ahead and click on that little cell phone icon also at the top right to see what the page looks like from a mobile device perspective. Right. I can click on, once I'm in the edit mode, I can click on the title and change it, change anything really. Okay. And I can scroll down, scroll down again, and there are different sections here that are already made in the uh, template. Easy, pretty straightforward. I can add a section before the one that I have here. As you can see, the button is over here a little bit higher there. So you can add a section. Let's say we pick headlines and we pick this one right here, just as an example. I 
I can scroll down, hit gallery, and take gallery, choose any gallery photos. Again, it's totally up to you if you wanna add any sections. Right here, back to headlines, we'll do number one. And it added a section right here, right above the amazing food sales with the pickles that we had right there. And so this allows you to change it and alter it accordingly, exactly however you wanna do it, okay? All right, your trial ends in 14 days. Upgrade now to get the most out of your site. Eventually, you're going to uh, have that trial end. Whoops, have that trial end, and it's going to uh, give you the option to um, go ahead and extend that. And um, there's a fee uh, to to have it for more than 14 days. I'd like to go ahead and share something else. Let me stop sharing here. Just a second. St um, uh, share something else. Uh, let's go ahead and view, and I want to make sure that uh, everybody can see this, uh, Squarespace. Again, you'll log in. Oops, let's admit our friends here that are coming in here. You'll log in, all right, using Google, using Facebook, or just using your email address. And you can start from here, just like I showed you already. I'm going to have, uh, I'm going to show you this also. This is a portfolio page for Squarespace. I'm going to share it in the chat. And uh, you can look at it now, save it, and it showcases different websites that are all built with Squarespace. When you design a website, one really interesting thing is to be inspired by other people. Maybe you want to borrow, quote unquote, maybe you want to borrow something that uh, they, um, maybe you want to borrow something that they uh have used, and let me go ahead and put that in the chat right there, okay? Uh, so everybody can click on it. Um, so yeah, this is great. This is great. Um, and so yeah, so this is the portfolio right here. All right, let me take a look at the question since I'm already here on the chat and see what we have here. Uh, yes, so good morning, everyone. Uh, it says, Christy, I work with Arnaud at the SBDC and can answer any questions in the chat during this presentation. Absolutely. Thank you, Christy. Absolutely. Um, so maybe create a website on the city website to inform people about how we can help. All right. Okay. Great. Great, great, great. All right. Let's get back to our presentation. Let me go ahead and stop sharing this and go back to our uh, wonderful presentation that we had over here right here okay nice okay so now we're gonna hop on to wix why wix well again that was the introduction to uh squarespace let's take a look at wix wix offers um a custom more customization than squarespace but not as much as wordpress it has a wide variety of different website templates that uh have functional titles now you can't change your website template unless you rebuild the whole website and you can change the way that uh, cell phones or mobile devices view your website independent of the way that computers view them, which is interesting, okay? Uh, and it all, Wix also has integrated e-commerce options. So Wix will start you off right here. You can click on creation, website templates right here. We're going to pick uh, the one that says success right here, okay? As a website template, we're going to click on edit. And again, it asks us to sign in, all right? We can sign in again with Facebook, Apple, uh, Google, or just uh, logging in. Or if we haven't done that, we can go ahead and uh, create an account. Very simple. Uh, click on Get Started, all right? Again, uh, there you go. So uh, as soon as you get started, it's going to ask you, what do you want to create your website for? Well, is it yourself, a company, a startup, a client? you know someone else or i'm going to pick company uh i've you know have you created a website before all right this process takes you in, through a number of steps to help streamline the elements that your website might need okay all right next you're going to create your new site as soon as you're logged in you're going to create that new site right over here okay what type of site are you uh, looking for uh and then you get to create uh, your website with the editor or cho again, choose a template. We're gonna go ahead and choose this template right over here with, with Wix, okay? This is, this is great. Um, so I'm gonna click on edit 
right there. It gives me a, an introductory video, which you can watch or not. It's totally up to you. All right. And uh, here you go. The website is right here. You can click on any element right over here and have it and move it around, have it uh, change. Maybe we can change the text here. We can call it Mountain Fun <laughs> or something like that. All right. Totally up to you. Totally up to you. All right. I can add some menus and pages, backgrounds, add-ons, blogs, blog information. It's all right here. It's all right here. Um, and uh, again, I can alter anything by aligning them, changing the spacing, the size, the position, and so on with the menu over here on the right. Okay. And much like with the other uh, one that we looked at, Squarespace, I can go ahead and uh, take a look at it from a mobile device perspective. I want to make sure that you see where it is. We are right here, okay, right here at the top, uh, top left this time, okay. Again, remember all of the uh, people who look at your website on mobile, you want to make sure that it, it, it fits and it works. And so here's an interesting thing. Uh, if I hadn't clicked on mobile, I wouldn't have noticed that I'm going to have to change the uh, size of my text here because, again, the N went on to the next line. And so this is this is why uh, clicking on mobile and uh, taking a look at your website from a mobile perspective is important. All right. So meet your website on mobile. You can start customizing it here. Okay. And you can customize your header, see what your header looks like. Again, the best way to go about this is really to try it out and play with it and play with it. All right. Right over here and click on next. It's, it's a whole lot of fun once you get used to it. All right. See where the back button, top button is. It's going to be right here. And there you go. So we added the top button right over here. Are you seeing it? Let me draw a little arrow just to see, uh, just to show you the top button right here. Okay. Uh, and uh, we have the menu right over here on mobile. All right. Uh, we still need to change this. Uh, but, the, you know, again, that's why the perspective, the view allows us to see different things that we wouldn't be able to see. Is it aligned right? Does it have all the necessary titles and things like that? Does it show up right on the mobile device? And that's key. That's key. All right. Oops. All right. So now let's take a look. I'm going to go ahead and stop this since we're doing WordPress right after. All right. And uh, let me go ahead and uh, share right here. Here we have Wix right over here, the Wix blog. Again, this is my own personal uh, Wix site, my own personal site. I have, I use Wix. Again, to start it, here I have my site already done. I called it A. And uh, over here, you can create new site again by clicking here and you can start it off. Again, we already saw this, but it's there. What kind of site are you, are you doing? You would have to type it and go through the different prompts. It's pretty, pretty neat. Now let's take a look at a couple of examples of different websites that were used, th that were built using Wix. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the chat again, all right? Put this in the chat again for you to go ahead and explore, all right? Let me send it over here. There you go. Okay, click on it, take a look. Really, the best way to go about this is to take a look at uh, all of the examples Find a couple things that you might like and, you know, sort of borrow, maybe borrow one or two design elements. Okay. That's really up to you, how you want to do it, how you see it. All right. That's awesome. Okay. Great. That's great. All right. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. This is great. All right. So here we are on WordPress. Now, why WordPress? Well, WordPress is a uh, is the website service probably with the highest learning curve? All right. Oops. Uh, it allows for most flex more flexibility though. It uses plugins to add features to your website as you need them. These plugins sometimes cost extra. Depending on what plugins you need, WordPress can also be the cheapest option. It all depends. Now remember, you can always start building. Uh, your website using the different trials, 
okay? But once it's time to publish and really have that domain name, then that's where the costs come in. But with WordPress, again, some plugins cost a little bit extra. It all depends on how you want to do this. Now, something to note here uh, is that WordPress.org is a free open source software you can use to create your own website. When you use WordPress.org, you're required to purchase web hosting for your website. Now, WordPress.com is paid, is a paid website builder like Squarespace and Wix, although you cannot install WordPress plugins with the most basic WordPress.com package. So let's take a look at this, okay? We would start off by get WordPress right here. And the easiest way is through a hosting provider. So we would, we would have a link right here. There are a number of hosting providers here. We can take a look at the, all the recommended hosts, but here we'll go ahead and just look at Bluehost, okay? It's all right here, all right? This would be where your website would live, so to speak. And so again, it doesn't have to be Bluehost. It could be any of the ones right over here. But again, we'll try Bluehost. And it gives you an example of a plan package that you can choose, the basic, the plus, uh, and then the choice plus as well. So that's pretty straightforward. Once it's time to set up your domain, you can set up your domain right over here. Can't decide on a name. You can choose a domain name later and you would have to put in your information to create that account. Again, very standard, very straightforward. You can either sign in with Google or put in your information right over here with WordPress, right over here. Oops, let's make sure that we're over here. Uh, so yes, absolutely. Uh, so let me um, go back to here. Hello, everybody. Um, so uh, let me ask you, for those of you who have a website, have you used Squarespace, Wix, or WordPress? Please put your answers in the chat if you have. If you have not, then you're good. You're, you're, you don't have to do anything. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the chat here. Dustin says, I use Wix and WordPress. I use Wix. Great, great. And um, if you would like to add a little bit more, what has been your experience with uh, either Squarespace, Wix, and WordPress? Ours is through a POS and I'm not a fan. Okay, all right, it happens. All right, Christy says, I had, oh, it's going up here. Uh, I had a blog, I'm sorry. I had a blog in w WordPress. My e-commerce sites use Shopify and Gracecart. Great, great, absolutely. Uh, Don says, uh, Squarespace was a little too complicated for me. It happens. Again, the best way to figure that out is to go ahead and give it a try and see if it works for you after giving, giving, you know, doing that trial and see if it works. If you're not comfortable with it, by all means, go to another one. Absolutely. All right. Dustin says, I make websites and prefer Wix. Great. That's my preference as well, uh, Wix. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much, everybody. Thank you very much. Let's take a look at um, our uh, gallery here. And this one, uh, just to show you before we do in the gallery, I went ahead and uh, created a, an account on wordpress.com. And you would uh, have it right here, would look like this. Uh, name your site, you would name your site right over here. You would start designing, visiting your site and so on. So again, here's where I would click on edit site and how to start and so on and so forth. Uh, just as a quick sneak preview uh, right here, uh, WordPress is tied up. Oh, let me change the color of that just a second so that we could see it better. Uh, WordPress is related with, to WooCommerce, one of the uh, platforms that we're going to take a look at today, right? And uh, yeah, pretty straightforward. Uh, so just so you know that you can access WooCommerce, and again, we'll talk about it in a little bit. You can access WooCommerce right over here um, uh, through the WordPress uh, site uh, dashboard. So that's pretty cool. All right, I can see we have a question up on or a, a comment up on the chat. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this in the chat right over here. Okay. This is, and I'll get to the questions in just a bit. Uh, 
this is the uh, website examples using WordPress. So as promised, I have website examples for Squarespace, for Wix, and um, uh, for uh, WordPress. Uh, is it a good idea, says Don, to transfer my domain to Wix instead of connecting through another provider? Again, it's totally up to you. If um, you're not happy with um, your other providers, then you can try Wix. Uh, probably the best way to go about it, again, would be to try it out. Try Wix out uh, as a free platform and see if it's comfortable for you. If you're not happy with your um, uh, current provider, domain provider, then you can go ahead and see whether Wix or something else is uh, something that you would be happy with. Uh, again, I'm a big believer in just playing around with it, trying it out. Let me make sure that I can see you in a big, with a bigger picture here, Don. <laughs> um, uh, again, I'm a big believer in just trying it out, really taking advantage of, of that free uh, trial. And again, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I, for me, was not the biggest fan of WordPress personally, and I went with Wix with my personal site. Um, and it depends on your comfort uh, comfort zone. Some might be more comfortable with one provider. Others might be com more comfortable with another. So there you go. Uh, let's go ahead and keep going. Where are we? Here we go. I want to make sure that we're clicking on the right, right link here. OK, everybody's still with me. This is great. I'm so happy to have so many people here. Oh, my goodness. This is awesome. All right, here we go. All right, let's talk about e-commerce platforms. And again, this will be a general introduction. We can spend a lot of time talking about these. Um, let's take a look. So we're going to look at Shopify, Big Commerce, and then the WordPress-related WooCommerce. Okay. Shopify, it's been built from the ground up to be the most straightforward and user-friendly e-commerce platform by far. If you want to focus, uh, I'm sorry, if you want the focus of your website to be e-commerce, it's possible just to use a Shopify site. That's very simple, very straightforward. Um, again, your sales volume might change, but Shopify's um, pricing will remain the same. Because of its simplicity, though, it lacks some flexibility, and we'll talk about that. Uh, again, there's a variety of templates, a variety of store, uh, store themes and templates that you can start off with. So you start off by clicking and getting your, that free trial again. It's over here and the example in the top right. 14-day free trial. Put in your information right there, My Amazing Store. All right. And this one, it already exists. If you're the owner, you can log in here. I can change the name to something else. It's all right. I can create my information, put in my information, username, password, standard stuff, and create my account. It's going to have some questions for you, very important questions. These questions are uh, for you, essentially, about you. What are you already selling? All right. What is your current revenue? What industry will you be operating in? And so on. After you put in all that info right over here, you can enter your store right here. And so, uh, yeah, absolutely. You can click on customize themes. We've already um, started off here. You can customize your theme, all right? Our scroll down here, you can get different free th theme libraries that you can use to set it up. Explore free themes. Again, wonderful way, just, get, just give it a try. Just give it a try, all right? Uh, here we are going to add this to the theme library. We're going to customize, and there you go. It starts off, it looks very similar to a website editor because essentially that's what it is, all right, with e-selling, e with um, e-commerce with as the main function here, all right? I can scroll down here and add an image with text, for example, okay? And uh, yeah, absolutely. The video right over here, oops. Uh, I can add a video right over here. Again, tells you tell your story. I can add a slideshow. Again, I can add image with text. Let's say we have um, different size image that I want to add or something like that. Let's I'm going to select it. Let's say I want to sell the shovel right over here. Okay, uh, so uh, that's that would be where it is. Okay, I would pick circle. I would add some text right over here, which would appear over here on the right hand side. Right, just to show you, 
All right, you would type it in here and it appears here. Okay, all right. And so on and so forth. So uh, it's pretty straightforward, add a title. My, um, the most amazing shovel, there it is right over here. Okay, and uh, then I would have my information. I can go back to the dashboard right over here. And um, I last saved it a minute ago. I can click on actions and then publish, and then it'll publish my site. Your password page is enabled. Okay, it can be disabled after publishing. All right, I'm gonna click on publish. And then I have it right here and ready to go. On the left-hand side there, do you see it? I can go ahead and take a look at the store that I just built right over here. Oops, and there you go. So uh, that's uh, an example of editing, changing uh, the Shopify um, uh, site so that I can start uh, building my site, my store, little by little. Again, this is a, just a broad introduction, all right? The best way to go about it is to really give it a try and to take a look. So this is really great, okay? Um, let's take a look at some of the questions um, that we have, great uh on the chat so let's take a look let me open up the chat just a second here we go uh so chris oops all right uh so let's go ahead and see so uh christy says i recommend getting as much material together before you start your free trial so that you have maximum time to design and troubleshoot don't forget to cancel all right if you're not going to use the platform or you will be charged that's always a good uh, advice. Thank you, Christy. Absolutely. All right. You start your free trial, three days, seven days, 14 days, whatever that is, and then make sure to cancel it. Absolutely. So that you're not charged. Uh, you have the option on uh, Shopify now to start and get a free three-day trial without putting any of your personal financial information so that you're not charged, right? So that's, that's important. All right. Uh, let's see. Um, Don continues and says, my website is to make revenue from display ads affiliates. I'm still building it. I haven't gone far. Uh, maybe I'll sell handicrafted items. That's awesome. That's great. Little by little. All right. Uh, very good. I'm learning as I go, but the SEO monetization can be very confusing. Yes, uh, I understand. Um, Christy's advice, um, talking to a designer to help you, absolutely, all right? Uh, or uh, talking with uh, your SBDC advisor, that could help as well, give you some ideas. But again, that designer point is very, very true when it comes to doing that. Uh, so um, Don also says, uh, I make blogs for free-spirited, budget-conscious people. Yes, that's awesome. Very good. Christy's advice, again, is right on the money, absolutely. All these platforms have tutorial videos. Use them. Yes. If you forget something, you, know, you might you would have wished that I had gone a little bit deeper on this platform or that platform. The tutorial videos can help you. And that's key. All right. So, and they're all there. Use them. Absolutely. Great job. Great job. All right. Well, let's keep going, everybody. It's great to see this participation. Eh? <laughs> this is great. All right. Let's get back to the right page, there we are, okay. So it would look like that. So let's go to Big Commerce, okay? That's another one, again, another platform. Give it, a, again, give it a try. Oops, actually, you know what? Before we go to Big Commerce, let me share something else with you. Let me share the gallery, I apologize. Let me share the gallery uh, for excellent, uh, pretty amazing, awesome, um, um, Shopify sites. These are examples of Shopify stores that you can go ahead and uh, look. I'm going to share this with you. Look at. I'm going to share this with you in the chat. Okay. Oops. There we go. All right. Let's go ahead and click on paste. It's right there. And again, it'll show you examples of um, pages like Adored Vintage right here. You can take a look at that. It'll connect directly to their page to see how they went ahead and used Shopify. And you can go ahead and do that. Again, I, I, as a teacher, I always tell my students, 
whatever, uh, you know, children or adults, whatever age they are, take a look, get inspired by what other people have done. And that's, that's important right there. Okay. So yeah, there you go. So now let's move on. Let's move on to big commerce. Big commerce uh, offers more customization than Spotify, but not as much as WordPress, right? It allows you to have up to 250 options per product, size, color, style, weight, finish materials, and so on. Um, and the key is you don't need to add ons. You don't need add ons, all right? It allows you to go ahead and really uh, look at this, uh, look at the site. Um, you can have also unlimited staff accounts, which is great. Okay. So uh, this is how you would start. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you the site here. All right. Click on essentials. Uh, click on get started and start your free trial. It asks for an email address. So you would go ahead and do that again. Very standard stuff. Very typical to log in, to signing up for other platforms. Okay. Right over here, continue with your store details. You can change this at any time and then add a password, uh, a first name, last name, phone number, and the size of your online business. If Even if you're just starting out, right, that's uh, an example that you can go ahead and do. So it'll create your store just like this, okay? Do you have an existing website? Let's say no, all right? What will you be selling? <clears throat> and uh, all the information is there right there, then you can click on finish, all right? You can view your store by clicking here on the left-hand side. This is my online bookstore, Books for Cooks. This is the, the example. Design this in the web page builder. Again, did you see it? It's at the top right. It's in different places for uh, different uh, platforms, but again, it's at the top right, right over here. Okay, right over here, all right? Uh, and then it'll start looking very familiar. Okay, uh, the idea that you can go ahead and change different sections, change the text layouts image, the hero banner, any carousel, add any videos, and so on. So it'll all be right here. If you're comfortable with HTML, you can add uh, an HTML um, code right in there. Those of you who are not, uh, not familiar with that, you don't have to, all right? Again, I'll, I said it before, I'll say it again. Give it a go, give it a try, try it out, get that free trial and play with it, see if it's something that, that you're comfortable with, and so on. Everybody will have their own um, uh, comfort level with uh, the different platforms. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop a widget right over here. I'm gonna drag the hero banner right over here, and I can go ahead and add that, change the description, change anything in the hero banner that I have, and um, yeah. That's it. I can change the layout. I can drop any widgets right over here. These widgets, I can have different column layouts, for example. I can have five, six widgets. It's totally how I want to design this page. All right, I'll start with an image, for example. Let's start it right here. I can add two or more, whatever I want to do. And then at the top right, I can click on save. All right. I can click on the preview site. Again, it's not the most uh, pretty site yet, but it give gives you an idea about what it uh, can do, what it can do. So think of them like building blocks, right? I'll always think of them like building blocks, right? You have building blocks like this. You can add something else right above to the right or to the left. So they're, it's really neat. It's really neat, right? And this is generally how you can build those sites or again, try it out and see how it works. See how it works. Nice. All right. Let's take a look here. See, we have a couple of questions in the chat or comments in the chat. Uh, very good. So uh, Christy says Shopify is limited. Um, Shopify is uh, limited on variables such as size and color. Yes, that's true. Again, big commerce has more uh, variables that you can try. Uh, Christy adds uh, something important. While you're experimenting, take screenshots of the things that you like. Also remember that the platform owns your content. Oops, 
Also remember that the platform owns your content. And if you switch platforms or stop having the site, you will lose everything. So document and save your materials. Another great bit of advice from Christy, absolutely, right? If they own your content. And if you stop the site, then everything will be gone. So again, save everything, create folders, uh, things like that. Um, I have a folder when I design my own site. I have a folder uh, on my desktop where I had screenshots of other people's sites and different things that I liked about it about them. Oh, I like this. I'm going to take a quick screenshot of this. And it was a lovely portfolio for me to go ahead and be able to use it to help design my site and so on, my personal site. And so that's another thing that you can try just as a, you know, a design tip, so to speak. So there you go. All right, let's uh, move on. Thank you, Christy. Thank you for everybody with your questions, comments. Absolutely. All right, all right, great, let's move on. So now let's talk about WooCommerce. WooCommerce is related to WordPress. It's designed to work with WordPress, okay? All right, and um, following from this, it's much easier to set up WooCommerce if you already have a WordPress site or if you already are familiar with WordPress. You're gonna be responsible for managing uh, your own updates and plugins. All right, including security updates. So that's something that you can uh, take a look at. Uh, In-person customer service is only available to customers, uh, although uh, there are extensive user fora forums that you can go ahead and try and take a look at. Absolutely. So if you're pretty familiar with these user forums, there are questions and answers. You can go ahead and click on them and get your answers like that. Okay. WooCommerce will look like this. You'll go ahead and start a new store, get started. All right. And it says sign up with Word, I'm sorry, sign up with WooCommerce with a WordPress.com account. And so that's key. You would need your WordPress.com account. All right. Another way to go about this, it'll start that site for you right over here. Okay. This site is for me, this site is for someone else. Uh, you have options. It asks you questions about what type of site that you're looking for, site or shop you're looking to make, right? Right over here. What kind of products are you going to be selling? Again, these are standard questions that you'll get on all the platforms. Okay. All right. Right over here, which is great. Uh, and again, how will customers pay for their purchases? Again, it's totally up to you. All right. You can change these at any time. Okay right over here. And again, how would you like to install WooCommerce? So you can get WooCommerce pre-installed, auto-install it, or go DIY and download the plugin right here. We're going to go ahead and get, get it pre-installed. And we need to select a partner uh, and a package that suits your needs. So again, you're going to have to go ahead and select a hosting, e-commerce hosting site. All right. Uh, this one right here has a cost, uh, Bluehost. Okay, and you would enter Bluehost, start it, select that option, standard or premium, and then start your domain. Pretty standard stuff, pretty straightforward, all right? Or you can do your domain later. You'll have to log in right over here, um, making sure that you uh, have all your information right over here, okay? Your first name, last name, business name, again, with Bluehost, and there you go. One of the, whoops, sorry. <laughs> Let's take a look at um, a couple more points uh, that we have um, before we move on. All right. I did forget to show you the uh, big commerce uh, website examples. These are seven big commerce website examples. Let me put them in the chat for you. So I did forget to do that. I apologize. All right, big commerce examples, all right, right over here. So that gives you a general idea. And seven WooCommerce examples right over here. Let me do the same, okay, right over here so that you have access to all the things that I'm showing right over here. Easy peasy, pretty straightforward. Uh, let's um, take a look at some of the questions that we have in the chat uh, before we move on, all right?
Christy adds uh, to Don's comment, what I did for one of my sites was to pay a designer to set it up. Now I manage it myself. I just wanted to be sure that it started out in good shape. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Don continues and asks, did you get an online designer or a local one here? Uh, and then Christy says that she lived in La Grande, very am am amenable to, I'm sorry, to follow up questions and so on. All right, so these are always options, um, going ahead and contacting a, a local or online designer that could help you. Uh, I know that Wix has the uh, option to uh, get designer services. You can inquire a little bit more about that. Um, absolutely, it's totally up to you how you wanna go ahead and, and do that, okay? Right over here. All right, any more questions? Because if not, we can keep going. And actually we are a little early because we have fewer people and there were fewer questions this time, which is perfectly fine. Uh, let's go ahead and go back to this. And now it's your turn. Uh, in the chat, tell me, what was most helpful for you today? And which website builder or e-commerce platform are you going to investigate after our session today? So everybody go ahead in the chat and give me an answer to that. And we are finishing a little bit earlier. That's always good. That's always good. So go ahead and write that down in the chat. All right, let's see, you know, and again, the big name of the game, my big advice, uh, we're experiment, give it a try, try those, uh, those free trials. You might find that a platform really speaks to you and that you are very comfortable with, uh, that you're real comfortable with a certain format. All right, investigate big commerce, a big, a big commerce. That's right. Very good, Dustin. Awesome. Very good. Christy says big commerce is nice, right? But it's more than most people need. True, there are functionalities uh, on each platform that you're just simply not going to use. All right, I'm going to continue with Wix. Says Don. Okay, this made it clear to me that I picked the right website builder the second time around. All right, awesome. All right, we have another comment here. I'm going to look into all of these to see which one works best for me. Yes, that's the spirit. That's the idea. Great. Absolutely, absolutely. And as always, don't forget next week, we've uh, had a wonderful opportunity to take a look at social media setup, overview, overview and setup. We did website and e-commerce and a week from today, everybody on the 7th at nine o'clock, we're gonna talk about how to grow your following. So that'll be key. That'll be really, really neat. So I hope to see everybody there, everybody there. Once again, this here we are, give us a call. Give us a call, 541-278-5833 or sbdc at bluecc.edu. Give us a call. Our advisors are very much willing to help to the best of our abilities and capacities. And uh, we are here for you at any level of the business development process, at any level. All right? 541-278-5833. All right. Very good. Couple more. Uh, no, I think we do have a couple more uh, yeah. questions. So we do have it. I see that. Time. I see that. And we do have some time, which is great, which is great. Um, so <clears throat> uh, any, let's see, I'm going to look into all of them. There you go. Any logo design platforms added to these sites? Ah, logo design platforms. Um, you can go ahead and um, design your logo in a number of ways. Uh, you can go ahead and use Canva if you would like. Remember, we talked about Canva. That's always a possibility, all right? Uh, Don answers to Sydney and says, I designed my logo with a provider through Wix. So that's another option right over here. Okay. Um, let's see. Becky adds, uh, learning there are so many DIY platforms for setting up uh, your website or e-commerce site. Absolutely. I'll be checking into these. I currently use the program through Homestead Website uh, Building. 
you know, that's one that I need to look into myself and see. I'm not familiar with that a homestead, a website building, but thank you. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Are there any other questions? Because we are here to answer your questions. We have a little bit of time. <laughs> Anybody else feel free? I would add, um, when we're talking about logos, um, then we start thinking about branding. And so if people are working with a brand new business, um, don't skip that branding piece of it um, would be uh, some advice. Um, because once you've established, you've made a logo, you've established your brand, you don't want to change it because then you'll lose, you'll confuse people and you will lose them. So, um, and branding is actually a workshop we've done before and probably should do again, but um, that is definitely something to talk to your SBDC advisor about would be uh, branding your business before you commit to um, your website and everything else. That's a very good point. That's a very good point for business in general. Absolutely. Thank you, Christy. Absolutely. Any other questions that you might have? Becky says, not only branding, but also the motto. Yes, that's part of the branding, part of the overall brand. Uh, Don says, LOL, you are my advisor, Christy. We should talk. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, this is great. This is great. Um, anybody else? Uh, we're here until 10 o'clock. Uh, and again, this is a great time to ask questions, get some clarification or anything like that. Sounds great, says uh, Christy. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Anybody else? If not, I guess, uh, I mean, I'm here until 10, until past 10. Christy will be here until 10. Uh, I don't want to take, uh, <laughs> force the class to be here if you don't want to be here. <laughs> but, uh, thank you. Great class. Thank you very much. I'll see you. We'll see you. If you need to go, you can go. Uh, we'll see you next um, uh, next week. Absolutely. For Grow Your Following. A couple of people saying thank you. And we are here for you. Any questions? We are here. Absolutely. Don says, thank you so much. See you next week. See you next week, Don. Thank you. <laughs> That's great. Oh, great. Thumbs up, thumbs up from, from everybody. It's great to see everybody here. All the wonderful questions. Give us a call. Absolutely. Anytime. Give us a call. Any other questions? Ah, maybe from Morgan, you have a question? Yeah, we have yeah. a YouTube channel. Um, let me. Oh, there's oh, there's your link. question. It's in the chat. There you go. <laughs> uh, is there a platform to get content from a past workshop? Yes, we do have a YouTube channel. That's right. Go ahead and search. Uh, you can search for it, uh, SBDC at BMCC, and um, we have uh, this. Um, we did this presentation last year. You have the ones from last year. We're going to also post as soon as all four presentations are done. We'll post these again uh, for this year. Uh, we have a YouTube channel, so that's the platform. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I I always get excited with the YouTube. <laughs> Morgan, hold on. I'm grabbing it. One you got to put it in the chat. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> with our friend Morgan. Thank you. <laughs> Here it comes. There you go. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> go team. Yes. Go team. Good job, Arno. <laughs> Thank you, Christy. My goodness. And <laughs> let me go ahead and uh, stop recording.